still don't have arrows, I don't think. Do I? Oh, yes, I do. Unfortunately for that guy. Stomach. Ouch. Let's go. Let's go. into forging stuff in this game making equipment spending time making equipment not really my thing in video games like that's a this, they have that in other games too I'd rather just get straight back to the killing part actually I also like shopping in this game I really like the buying and trading and selling aspect of the game. It's one of my favorite parts of Skyrim. Wahoo. Even though I just end up buying potions all the time, it's pretty much like all I buy. <laughs> White Run is so beautiful. So that's where the Jarl is up there in that like towery place. That would be White Run. That's where I'm gonna build buy my first home. I like this too, the Jarl of Whiterun is very versed, well versed in the uh, history of the Nordic beliefs and dragons and the relationship with the dragons. The dragons made, in this game, dragons made man, and then they just tormented them. It just pretty much made them just so that they could have like snacks. And what you just heard there is the the leaders of High Hrothgar calling the Dovahkiin to that. That's High Hrothgar way up there. Right there. Uh, this is a huge mountain that you see. It's actually really steep. If I tried to run up that mountain, just run straight to that place, High Hrothgar right there, you can't go up that mountain. They've made it, the game made it purposely so that you have to take a certain path or else you can't go up to High Hrothgar. And that place right there, High Hrothgar, is where the leaders of the dragon the people who believe in the way of the dragon and the people who have the gift of the voice to speak like a dragon, which is this right here. Boosh! That's speaking like a dragon. Boosh! I don't know what I just said. I know I just said boosh. But I don't know what I said in dragon words. The leaders of High Hrothgar have the gift of the voice. Um, oh, they friend. are... In contact, dragon. also, with several dragons. Which is funny, because... No. Wait, no, yeah, they are in contact with dragons. So I don't know why people would say they haven't seen dragons in a thousand years. But that's the thing. The people of High Hrothgar don't come down here and talk to people. And the Nords typically don't go up to High Hrothgar. Because it's just like... Yes, technically it's right there, you can see it from here, but like in the game everyone talks about how it's just way up this mountain that's so annoying to hike up. Why would you ever go up there? It's freezing cold up there. There's nothing up there except for these guys who live in the one place to live up there. They won't let you in unless you have the gift of the voice. I don't think they let you in. You're not allowed in there unless you have the gift of the voice. So there's no reason for people to go up there. And then also, you, they don't see, when they see the dragons, when High Hrothgar is talking to the dragons, dragon. they even go up higher up to that what's right there, the throat of the world, which is where the the only the dragons that they talk to only fly and stay up right there where people can't see them. That's why they haven't they claim that we haven't seen dragons in a thousand years. And those dragons have no interest in hu interacting with the humans at all. The, the dragons that go to the throat of the world actually live in the spiritual realm 
and good. when they You're come to here. this realm, the they come to a portal-ish thing that's you right there at the, the throat of the world. What the so what happened it's at the watch? The throat, it's like the throat of the world. What's it's like the, the mouth there? of the world. It's like a mouth that the dragons go through to get to our world. I knew I could um, count on Irelef, but there must be more to it than that. And one of my favorite parts in this entire game Dragonborn. is when they send you on what a quest you know all the way up to the, the tippy tip tip top of that huge mountain, and you, your job so is to go talk true. to. I think really the oldest dragon you. of all. Parantharax. Parantax. Parathanx. Something like that. It's his name. And so Masters it's so cool. The they send the you horse. on this quest. They and you go up and you're in the top of the, of the mountain. The highest the place in the world. It's the highest place in the world. The and you're way up there. And you look down and all you see is clouds. When you're up there at the throat of the world, you look down and you can't even see Skyrim really. All you see is clouds. So it's almost like you're in the heavens. And then you have this really trippy conversation with the oldest dragon alive. I think it's the oldest dragon alive. Or the oldest dragon that's ever existed. It's like the original dragon. You know what I mean? the summoning you to High this hasn't Enjoy happened your visit to Dragon centuries, Street. at least. Not yes, since Tiber Septim himself like was summoned when he was guy. still Talos of Atmora. Ranga, calm Septim yourself. Himself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Nord nonsense? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, drag. Let me save game. I want to show him this sign right now. Watch Nord. this. I'll show you a sign right now. Have, Nord have nonsense? Ah, uh, now they're gonna kill me. Now they're gonna kill me. <laughs> now I just became an enemy. Oh man. Oh bro, they slaughtered me, bro. Even the Jarls got up from his throne to stab me. Nord nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the first. So this guy is not a Nord. He looks like a so hard on Avenichi. I meant no disrespect, of course. He's a different it's race just than the Nords. What do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. The Greybeards are the Whatever guys that live up on the High Rothgar. They have it the way of the voice. It revealed something in you. Okay, so anyway, I don't want to have that conversation. I've already everything that he's about to tell you is like the stuff I've just been explaining to you just now. So you kind of already know. And now the Jarl, if you were to stay there and talk to them, the Jarl sends you on a quest saying you need to go talk to those guys. No one goes to talk to those guys, but he's like, uh, you have the way of the voice. You have to go talk to them. You've got to. That means like you're a chosen one. I spend a I lot of time with 